Welcome back to my garage. I'm still waiting for the pistons for my engine. Still being held hostage by uh, USPS. Actually, they haven't uh, left the United States yet. It's been over a month. Yay, USPS. I broke the mill in the previous video, so I can't use that for dyno parts. I'm waiting for a crucial part of the Aprilia RS50 ludicrous side project. That should actually arrive later today, so really looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been thinking about my exhaust duct design lately. And um, I haven't used CFD, I've used uh, IFD, Intuitive Fluid Dynamics. And uh, intuition and two strokes seldom match very well. What I've been thinking about is if this bulging exhaust duct, like you see in three port designs, if it actually will flow as a three port design or if this will cause a lot of turbulence. It's much easier to see in the CAD model. This one is just straight out. This one is kind of like the duct in my cylinder is. I just quickly sketched this up so there's no no thought around the radiuses and stuff here. But uh, it should work for what I'm going to do here. And this is my duct but with some dividers in there. Like rectifiers, flow rectifiers. And uh, you might notice there are not bridges in the bore. They are actually situated 2 millimeters outside the bore. So with with the right width where they start we should be able to retain the the same area as with this one and this might be better that's what i'm thinking this might be better i'm also thinking about the twin duct design but i haven't modeled and uh, printed that yet we'll glue this up and i'll meet you out at the test bench <laughs> My hyper advanced flow bench setup, a bottle, fluid reservoir, a hose, and my ducts will be connected at the bottom here. I'll fill this up to, uh, to a mark and uh, time how long it takes for it to empty. And that's it. Not super scientific, but I think it'll give us a pointer to if I need to do something with my duct design. I am going to learn CFD and uh, and simulate this for uh, for future designs. Salt sarin in last place, to no surprise, we have the straight, the one without the bulges. Five runs and it averaged out at 11.326 seconds. In second place, and this was kind of a surprise, 
It's the bulges with bridges. I've made sure the volume of this duct is the same as the one without the bridges. So they should be uh, the same except for those bridges. And uh, this one averaged out at 10.734 seconds. And the winner is the one with the bulges without bridges. And it averaged out at 10.474 seconds. So this one and the one with the bridges, they're uh, very close. And uh, so it's kind of inconclusive between these two. But it's a big difference between the straight one and the bulges. So if you were in doubt that a bulging exhaust port is better, well it is. And we knew that. Thanks for watching. I'm heading down now to pick up my kids and that crucial part of the ludicrous uh, side project. See you next time.